All right, so we back another week to teach the word of truth. Messy weather out here in Pittsburgh. We want to say all praise to the Most High, the Howard by a ship, the Howard shot. Double honor to the apostles and elders, the great millstone. Double state to all the brothers and sisters the truth all over the earth. So we go, not going on. Anybody got anything no work they want to hit or they want to go to break out? All right, brother, got over the Basically, we're in a time now when the Most High is showing us the new spirit. Other than the prophecies coming to pass, the thing going on, just like waking up. Hey, we're in a time of self-examination, man. Every brother out there, you examine yourself. Watch the way you walk, you know what I'm saying? Watch, watch what you do, watch what you say. Watch how you behave when you're out there in the world, man. These, this world don't got nothing for you, okay? What's that? The world have hated you. Get that. John 14, maybe. Trey, go to John 14. But like we said, we out here to bring out the word of truth to the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who make up, who are the seed of the house of Israel, okay? This is the end time gospel. Like the scripture said in Matthew 24, this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness, and then shall the end come, okay? So we're going to bring out a... Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen, go ahead. Yeah. Seventeen? Uh no, I'm sorry, I said. Oh, nineteen. Yeah, so that eighteen, yeah. Okay. Let's say it. Join. Fifteen verse eighteen. Yep. If the world hated you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. These are the words of the Savior right here. Coming into the truth, being a part of the ministry, being a part of the brotherhood, you're not gonna be well received and well liked. That's one thing you saw if Israelites got a problem with. You right. think you're gonna be able to have one foot in the world, one foot in the truth. Meaning, you think you're going to get the praise of men and then still be a, a covenant teacher of the Most High. It ain't going to happen, man. You have to, you know, not that you can choose when we use those words. You got to choose, you know. Like the scripture say, choose this day whom you're going to serve. You're going to choose to serve the Most High? Hey, it's going to be a hard ass road you got to walk. Right. You know, what it is. Read. It says, if the world hate you, those that have hated men before hated you. You know, Savior was very hated. The prophets of the Lord. You know, all the men of the law was hated. Even among their own people, they was hated. Yeah. You know, some of them got put to death by their own people. Stephen got stoned. They put Jeremiah in the, uh, in the dungeon, lowered him down in the mire, right? You know, uh, you got to name the other men of the Lord. They hated, they hated Paul. You know, they hated the men of the Lord, always. They gave up your house, guys. They said, crucify him, crucify him. Yeah, they right. chose a murderer over the Savior, for yeah. Any point y'all got? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, bro. Verse 19. If ye were of the world, the world would love its own. Right. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. Right. See, if you was of the, these people of the world, they would love you. They love Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan, right? Prince and all them niggas that, that sold out. The world loved them people. But when you say uh, you're a man of the Lord, then you got to go against the world because the world says what? Do as thou wilt. Right. So when you bring the word of truth and you instruct people they got to keep the law, they're going to hate you for the Most High's namesake, you know? It says the world, uh, because the Most High chose you out of the world, therefore the world hates you, man. They hate us, we know that. And the scriptures also say they hated him that rebuked in the gate, and they abhor him that speaketh upright. So if you can't have both, you can go love the Most High, like you say, uh, no man can love two men. You know, give uh -huh. you a hold fast to the one and hate the other, you know, fight and vice versa. So that, that's what we, you know, coming at, coming from. You, you still got that on deck. Yeah, you got it. I got a, what you got, bro? You got something for Go ahead, bro. Psalm 43, Psalm 143, verse 3. For the enemy has persecuted my soul, he has smitten my life down to the ground. Yep. He has made me to dwell in darkness as those that have been long dead. And this is a precarious lot that you got, you, you're you into. You're the man of the Most High. Even King David, who was the, one of the most beloved men of the Lord, a man after the Most High's own heart, was hated among among some of his brethren. You know, Elijah was chased into a cave by the prophet of Baal uh, and uh, Jezebel, rather, driven to hide in caves. You know, and it's in the, in, in the scriptures. You know, the prophets of the Lord hid in caves of the earth. You know, some got persecuted, they were shipwrecked. This is a hard lot you're dealing with. You ain't, it ain't gonna just be easy like IUIC say. You get to have fun. Then before the tribulation starts, 
Jacob's trouble, you get to leave. You know, you're going to leave before the destruction takes place. You ain't got to go through Jacob's trouble. That's lies, man. You know? It's like the Christian doctor. They think they're going to get taken out of the way here. Yeah. Uh, this is Ecclesiastes 2 and 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Right. And the brother that's holding up, brother, brother Azariah, he got he had a scripture there, you know? You come to serve the Lord, you better prepare yourself for temptation. You got to deal with a lot when you come into the truth. As you seen on the video, we had demons throw drinks on us, throw drinks at us. No devils slap our camera down, say little stuff. Now, in some, some instances, you know, we do, uh, we will protect ourselves, but that ain't really what we're here to do. You know, we ain't here to try to defend ourselves the most I defend us. But we ain't here to be punching bags either, you know. So if you come to prepare the Lord, prepare yourself, man. This is a, a, a tough walk. Yeah. Straight game. Yep. Go ahead, Yep. Uh, I got Luke, I mean, it's like one, John 1, verse 11, speaking of the Lord. It reads, it says, he came into his own, and his own received him not. Like we said, man, it's mainly it's our people that come against us. And the Lord, what? He went to those people to his people. But most of the Jews didn't receive him. This is you, this is you get the hand today. When we speak of the Lord, the Howard Shire, the true uh, Savior, Messiah of the Bible, our people don't, our people don't accept that. You know? But they accept that for the, the, the white people and the other Jews that were preaching to them. Right? We don't. That's the difference. Okay? Yeah, well, I got a scripture. This is uh, Matthew 10, verse 25, verse 24. It says, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm sorry, it's locked here. This is, uh, Will you read Matthew 10 and 15, bro? We have uh, 10 and 16. Just read all the way down you know, a little way. Here. Matthew 10 and 16. You know, and we just follow in the spirit, wherever the spirit takes us, you know? Because that's the main thing that get a lot of guys to fall out the truth. And read that uh, parable of all. Something that's conceived, all about a wayside, and the tale of this life coming up. You got that? Matthew 10 and like 8. Well, Matthew 10 verse 16. Yep. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Right. You are sheep. If she's going in the midst of wolves, what's going to happen? It's going to get ripped apart. It's going to get torn to shreds, man. Now, the most high didn't mean wow. literally that we're going to get torn to shreds, but it's going to be like, like that, man. You know, we're going to gonna experience heavy persecution teaching the word of the Lord, just like our, our brothers and prophets did. Go ahead, bro. Be you therefore wise as serpent and harmless as dove. You gotta think. You gotta think on your feet. You gotta be walking circumspectly, watching everything, right? You can't be doing nigga shit. Either you got the know most high's name attached to you, then you out in the world doing wicked. Or you expect that you ain't gonna go through something. When you read these scriptures, you gotta savor them. They're very uh vivid about what, what you're gonna go through. Start again. Uh, uh, behold I send you forth as sheep in the midst of the wolves. That's right. Be you therefore wise as the serpent and harmless as the dove. And a serpent, when you look it up, it's talking about a cunning, sly person. You gotta be thinking, you gotta be smart, you know? You always gotta be thinking on your feet, man. Lift it up a little bit more. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. But beware of men. Right. For they will deliver you up to the council. But beware of men. Some will be false brethren. You know? The man that's standing right next to you could be the one to deliver you up. You just never know. You know, you gotta have, like they say in the old days, uh, in the old saying, you gotta have eyes in the back of your head. A wise man, like the scripture said, a wise man looking well to his goal. You know? Be not ignorant in anything, a small matter or, or a little. Mm -hmm. I mean, a, a big matter or a little. Mm -hmm. I'm paraphrasing that. You gotta, hey, you gotta watch things, man. When a guy come on your comment board and say, Shalom, brother, you know, you gotta go to that man page. If you ain't never seen it before, go to that man page. See if he got videos up. See what's going on. See what we've been watching. Look at his playlist. You know, there's many agents and uh, uh, spies nowadays. You gotta watch out. But beware of men, when they will deliver you up to the person. You hear that? Beware of men. You can't just go past that. Beware of men. Watch out. Don't take good heed. Go ahead, bro. And they will scourge you in their synagogue. Uh huh. And you shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake. Right. So at some point, you're going to be brought before a king. They're going to be saying, yeah, that's the guy. 
Then the guys that were saying that America was going to get destroyed, they just managed to go Shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for the testimony against them and the Gentiles. Right, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. You know, and it's gonna be you gonna be getting tested by the Most High by the Satan. Because how you know that the Most High will have you get grabbed up and taken before these kings and governors? And in their mind, they may be thinking we gonna we gonna kill them, we gonna execute them, right? Like we always bring out. That's right. Oh. That's why we bring out how you know, hey, the most high may have you go before the kings and governors, right? You get that testimony against them, but in that last thing you might get released, and then the most high calls you to get destroyed. You know, the most high is right in all the way. Right. So he always gonna bring a testimony, just like it said in that story of, of Samson in the beginning. It said the most high has sought an occasion against the Philistines. So therefore he had Samson go be among them, right? However he did it with Delilah or however he did that. Just so he can judge the Philistines, you know. Yeah. They did things to Samson, you know. They poked his eyes out, yeah. you know. They had a lot. Of, the Most High did a lot of different things. That's why the scriptures, uh, when brothers always say the Most High is the master chess player, man. You think you're doing something against him? He checkmating your ass. He setting you up. This is Second Samuel two and four. How much more when the when wicked men have slain the righteous person in his own house upon his bed? Shall not I therefore? Now requires his blood of your hand. You know what? Go back a little bit up and let's get a little bit more. Let's get a little bit more. You know, read up a little bit. I mean, I think that's got to be it. We'll read that. Matter of fact, hold it and we'll go back to it. We'll go to that and then we'll go to the brother. What? Can I chime in on what you were saying? Yeah, go ahead. Just to chime in what he was saying about Samson. You know what I'm saying? Like he said, the most high check made it them because they, they brought him in the midst after they poked his eyes out and cut his hair. Yep. That Most High gave him the last push of strength Straight to back. take them all down, man. That's right. right. So Most High saw him. Plus, on top of that, Most High was, uh, Samson was destroying a lot of the Philistines. Yep. You know? Messing their crops up. He tied them all boxes together. You know, and burnt, put set fire to their tails and went through and messed up all the mm. crop. Yep. He gave the Philistines hemorrhoids. He did all kind of shit to them, man. But the Most High wanted to do that to him. But he wasn't going to do it unrighteously without a cause. So he needed, he needed a catalyst for it. And Samson was just that. Same way with Esau. Most High did it twofold. He sent the Israelites over here in captivity to punish us, and in the process, he's gonna kill all these devils and destroy their they kingdom for, for the way that they treated us. You know, the Most High bad like that, man. He's cold. You know? The Most High have, you know, a, a wicked nigga go to the hood and, and take revenge on his enemy, right? So he kill the enemy, and then have that nigga that took revenge against the scripture have him get killed in the process, man. Yep. That's how the Most High get down. You gotta watch out. That's why this right here should be your sword. sword. Really? Hey, you shall be brought before the governors and kings for my sake, right. for the testimony against them and the Gentiles. You hear that? For a testimony against them and all the other nations. Go ahead, bro. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what you shall speak. For it shall be given you in that same hour what you shall speak. Right, like the scripture say, fear not. You can't be worried. If you're in a spiritual battle, you can't worry about the things that you cannot see. Don't worry about how you're going to get out of Babylon the Great. You got this doctrine going around telling everybody they need to flee Babylon. You need to leave, you know. You can leave Babylon all you want to. The Most High have a missile come wherever you had to kill you. Exactly. Or he had the people of that nation grab you up and then send you back to Babylon the Great to get the judgment the Most High got sent. You can't run. Yeah. No? Y'all want to add something? Come here. Go ahead, brother. For it is not you that speak, right. but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you. Most high, I tell you what to say in that hour. It shall be given unto you that same hour which you shall speak. Go ahead. And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death. Right, from the own family. It's in the scriptures, man. Some of your family might deliver brothers up. Some brothers' family might deliver them up. You no, know? go ahead. And the father, the child, and the children shall rise up against their parents. And cause them to be put to death. Hey, all these things are coming, man. It happened before, and it's coming again. When you watch that movie, uh, Birth of a Nation, who was it that gave that to her up in there? His people. His own people. His own people. You know, some little boy, he was trying to help get out of that condition, but he loved NASA more than he loved freedom. So therefore, Nat and all them men got put to death because of it. But even with that, that was the most high that made that happen to him, as we know. Go ahead, bro. 
and you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. You shall be hated of all men.